It is another Tuesday, which means another fabulous meal from my casa to your casa. As always, you're watching Cooking with Forrest Brown. And what's on the menu for today? Empanadas, a traditional Argentine uh, recipe that's very easy to make, full of flavor, full of uh, bold ingredients, and yet impressive. So thank you so much for being here with me today. It is another beautiful day. I will see you next Tuesday for another show. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me. And let's get started, shall we? So what is an empanada? Basically, it's a stuffed pastry dough. You stuff it with anything that you really want. In today's case, it will be with corn. I'll be stuffing some with corn and spinach, others with ground beef and some onion. And the real key note here is the chimichurri sauce that I'll be making for you today. Chimichurri sauce, just like the other dishes that I usually make, it's what makes this particular meal wrap up together. It's a pesto type uh, dressing, really, but it's made with uh, loads of um, fresh parsley, garlic, red wine vinegar, olive oil, garlic, and basically just Chop it as finely as you can. And this is the sauce that will particularly go over the empanadas. Empanadas, we'll be baking them in the oven at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And um, well, let's get started, shall we? The first thing that we're gonna be doing is making the dressing. So let's go ahead and get started with the dressing. I'll be dicing up a cup of parsley, finely, finely diced with three garlic cloves, one third of a cup of olive oil, one third of a cup of red wine vinegar, combining everything together with uh, salt and pepper, of course, tasting it to see if it needs to be added, if I need to add a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that. But basically it's easy, it's easy to make. So let's get started. One ounce of oregano, preferably fresh oregano. If you do use dry oregano, just a teaspoon. And this smells delicious. Chop, chop, chop. In the parsley, three garlic cloves, get a bigger one. Of course you could add more if you wish, it depends if you have a date or not. <laughs> Just peel. and dice, dice, dice away. In the bowl. One quarter of a teaspoon of red chili flakes. Mm. 
with with teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of black pepper. Two thirds of olive oil. One third of a cup of red wine vinegar. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of pepper. One quarter a teaspoon of red chili flakes. One cup of chopped parsley three large diced garlic cloves, one ounce of fresh oregano. Dice, dice, dice. Mix, 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 and try, try, try. Tiny more splash of red wine. And voila. Now that the chimichurri is done, our next step is to saute the spinach. I'm gonna be chopping, roughly chopping the spinach, adding some salt, pepper, some white onion, and eventually adding one cup of sweet corn, one tablespoon of butter. Removing the edges into a bowl. Teaspoon of fresh oregano. Finely, finely chopped. Salt in there. It's gonna go in the same pot anyways. I have my corn. Now let's cook. High heat. Don't worry if it doesn't fit, it's gonna wilt anyways. Basically shrink. Tablespoon of salt. Tablespoon of pepper. Come back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the corn to one side. And just mix. Just a few minutes, we can set it on the side. And now we're gonna make the picadillo. Really, the ground beef. Now let's prepare the picadillo. I'll be using half a white onion, yellow onion, white, yellow, red, whatever you wish. Finely, finely dicing. Half of the onion. Mm 
And we're gonna cook this down until translucent. Tablespoon of fresh oregano. Tablespoon of fresh mint. Two pounds of ground beef. One tablespoon of pepper. One tablespoon of salt. We're gonna set aside in time to assemble the empanadas. So let's assemble, shall we? First thing that we're gonna be doing is making an egg wash. Egg wash is basically an egg with a little bit of water. A tablespoon of water, really. An egg wash is what gives colorization to um, a dough that's being cooked in the oven. that. A little bit of flour. Now I did find these at the store. You're more than welcome to make your own dough. I just think it just takes way too much time. And these are basically, it's a dough for like a turnover. So let's assemble. A little bit of the filling. We're gonna press the outer edges. Now, I like to use a fork and then just gently tap the edge so it doesn't open while it's cooking. So. I do have um, a cookie sheet with uh, parchment paper. I'm gonna go ahead and place them.
in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes until just golden brown. And of course, I cannot finish this video without me not trying these empanadas. Very easy to make, exquisite, delicious. Again, all the flavors from the sauce. This is finger food. Let's enjoy. Definitely with a glass of wine. Thank you so much for watching me. It is my pleasure as always. I will see you next Tuesday for another show. Give it a thumbs up. Very tangy, very tango. It's actually delicious.